Greetings good people, we meet once again, now we are looking at a new chapter which is called Animal Nutrition, you will get it in question 2 of your paper 1 and you will also get some questions in question 1 which is your section A. The total marks given for this chapter is 50 marks, 15 in section A and 35 in section B. So it's very important for us to master this chapter in a way that we can score high marks that will boost our confidence going forward to the other questions. And this is a chapter that you will find in term one in our ATP. So it's very important that when we start our year, we start it on a high note so that it will be easier for us to, 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 to do well in the other chapters because of the confidence that we get at in the first chapter which is animal nutrition in this chapter there are a few things that i will look at in this session we we will look at five fundamental processes that takes place in an alimentary canal there are five it's very important to know their definitions and where they take place so there are two things that i want you to know or three what is the name of the process? What is its definition? Where does it take place in the alimentary canal of the animal? We, we, we will then continue to classify farm animals. We classify farm animals into two. So we will classify the animals and look what is the difference between these two groups of animals. Once we classify the farm animals, we will then look at the alimentary canals of the alimentary canal of each of these farm animals. There are three farm animals that we will look. We will look at a, 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 a cow, carefully. We will look at a pig. We will look at a fowl, which you can call it a chicken or poultry. That's what we, we, we will look. Then, if time allows us, we will look at the part and function. In some, we will also look at the adaptations of those parts how do they perform the function but for now let's look at the five fundamental processes let us classify the animals after classifying the animals let us look at their alimentary canals just a, 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 an overview of it will get into details when we look at their functions okay good people let's have a look at it when you look at the five fundamental or main processes in the digestive system or alimentary canal if you agree with me, good people, is that when an animal or even us as human beings, we first take food into our mouth. We take the food into our mouth, it will go down into our stomach. What will happen in the stomach? There will be digestion. The food will be broken down. Once the food is being broken down, where will it go? It has to go to the blood vessels or the blood capillaries. What happens when the food is in the blood capillaries? It has to go to the cells. Then if it goes into the cells, ask yourself a question. What happens to the food that was not digested? The food that was not digested, it must be removed through the anus. So there are five processes. One, we take the food into the mouth. Two, the food is being broken down. Through the digested food or the nutrients, they go into the blood capillaries. Then four, it goes into the body cells. Five, the food that is not digested is being excreted or removed in the body. But let us look at the names that are given to those processes. One, we have ingestion. When we look at ingestion, good people, we say ingestion is the intake, the intake of large food molecules into the mouth. That is the first process. The food is taken into the mouth. Through which process? Ingestion. What about the second one? Now the food will go into the stomach. What will happen in the stomach? It has to be broken down. Let us look at that term. We have digestion. 
What do you mean by digestion? Digestion now, the food is being broken down into simpler particles by the use of digestive enzymes or teeth. Remember what I said to you at the beginning. I said you must know the name of the process, the definition of the process, the part of the digestive system where the process takes place. So we are now saying it's digestion. What is digestion? The process of breaking down complex food molecules into simpler particles, whether we use digestive systems, enzymes, or else we use teeth. So what does it mean? It means the digestion can take place in the stomach. It can also take place in the small intestines. We'll go deeper with that one. And it can also take place in the mouth where you find the teeth. We have two types of digestion. We will look at them just now. We then have the third term. Let us say now the food has been digested. The food has to be absorbed, which is the third term, which is absorption. What do you mean by absorption? Process whereby digested food or nutrients is taken up from the alimentary canal into the bloodstream. I want you to master these terms, absorption and assimilation. There can be a confusion, but we will try by all means to simplify it for, 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 for all of us. We are saying absorption. The food is taken from where? Alimentary canal to where? Bloodstream. What about assimilation, good people? Assimilation. Now, the food or the digested food or the nutrients is taken up from the bloodstream into the body cells. So, get the difference. Get the difference. Absorption, it moves from the alimentary canal into the bloodstream. Assimilation from the bloodstream into the body cells. Then you have the last one, which is ingestion. Ingestion, we are saying, is when the indigestible waste products are eliminated from the body. Or else the food that was not digested by the animal is being removed by the body through the anus. If we look at a cow and a pig, we'll say through the anus. If we look at a fowl, we'll say through the throat through the cloaca through the cloaca okay fine let's try to look at them once again we have ingestion we have <clears throat> digestion we have absorption we have assimilation and digestion this is what i want you to understand under absorption if we look at absorption Agree with me that this is our alimentary canal. The food has been broken down, it's now nutrients. The food is moving this way. On the side, you have blood capillaries. Blood capillaries. You then have body cells. You have body cells. It's our alimentary canal. It's our blood capillaries of blood stream. Then, let me say blood stream. Then you have the body cells. When we talk about absorption, in absorption, the food will be taken up from the alimentary canal into the blood stream. That is your absorption. But when we look at assimilation, now the food is taken from the bloodstream into the body cells. So it's very important to understand this one. But it's, it's, it's rare that you will get such a diagram. But just for you to understand it, absorption from alimentary canal or digestive system into the, into the blood capillaries or bloodstream. 
then assimilation from the bloodstream now going to the cells where it will perform the function that it's supposed to perform we will look at components of feet and look at what each feed which function is performed by by each feed okay fine good people now we understand these three these five terms i said earlier on that there are two types of digestion we categorize digestion into two Remember we said digestion can take place through the use of teeth. Digestion can take place through the use of digestive juices or enzymes. Let's have these two. One, we have mechanical digestion. Mechanical digestion can also be called physical digestion. If we look at mechanical digestion, we say, this is the breaking down of large food molecules into simpler particles by the use of what? By the use of teeth, through mastication or through chewing. So that's how you can understand it. Mechanical digestion, still we are breaking down food into simpler particles. Now understand what is it that is being used? They are using teeth through mastication. So what does it mean? It means it takes place in the mouth. But when you go deeper with, with, with the cackling, you will understand that there's another part or there is a chamber where digestion takes place. We will look at that one. I don't, don't want to confuse you now. When we look at a fowl, which is a chicken, you will understand that there is a, a stomach in a chicken where mechanical digestion takes place. We will get, go deeper with that one when we get to that part. But for now, just understand that the breaking down of food into simpler particles using teeth through mastication, which is chewing. Let's look at this at the second type of digestion. It's given it is given a name and said chemical digestion. Sometimes in, in some questions that you will get, you will find that they say it's enzymatic digestion. Make sure that you know the two the the, the, the two names that are given to, to these types of digestion. When we look at this one, we say this is the breaking down of large food molecules into simpler particles now we are using what we are using enzymes or we are also using what digestive juices you will get digestive juices in the stomach of an animal from the gastric glands you will get it in abomasum of a cow you will get it in proventriculus of a chicken you will get it in the simple stomach of a pig that's where you will get the digestive the digestive juices, which are gastric juices. Enzymes. You, you, you will get enzymes, good people. You will get enzymes in the small intestines of all these three animals. And for a pig, especially a pig, you will also get it in the, in, in the mouth of a pig, which are your salivary amylase. Let's come back to our, 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 our argument. We are looking at two types of digestion, mechanical and chemical. Understand the difference. Both of them breaking down of large food molecules into simpler particles. Understand now that what is it that is being used? Mechanical digestion, they are using teeth. So it means it takes place in the mouth. Chemical digestion, they are using enzymes or digestive juices. So it means it can take place in the mouth, in some animals. It can take place in the stomach, which is abomasum in a cow proventriculus in a fowl and simple stomach in a pig it can also take place in the small intestines that's what i want you to, to 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 understand this part let's hold it here for now make sure that you understand these five fundamental processes that takes place in and that in the digestive system of an animal and also understand that there are two types of digestion when we meet again we will then look at the classifications of the animals when we look at the classifications of the animal it will be accompanied with the diagrams of these animals in order for us to really understand the differences that's it that we have to understand here abit says thank you but before we 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 we, we call it a day on this one let us have a look at what have we done we look at the five fundamental processes there are five ingestion Digestion, absorption, assimilation, digestion. Digestion, take note that it can also be called excretion in some instances. I said understand their names. 
their definitions and where do they take place. And for you to understand it in a simpler way, just understand that food gets into the mouth. Food is being broken down into nutrients. The nutrients are taken into the bloodstream. Then the nutrients are taken into the body cells. Then the food that is not digested will be removed. Five. Into the mouth, being broken down, taken into the bloodstream. It also goes into the body cells. Then the one that is not digested, it is eliminated or adjusted by the animal. Through the anus, if it's a cow and pig, through the cloaca, if it is a fowl. We then say, the digestion can be different, can be classified into two. Food can be broken down using teeth. Food can be broken down using what? Enzymes or digestive juices. So, you have to know which digestion where the food is being broken down into simpler particles using the teeth, which is your mechanical digestion. Which digestion whereby the food is being broken down into simpler particles using enzymes or digestive juices? It's your chemical digestion, which can be called enzymatic digestion. Take note of these terms. When we look at the alimentary canal in a diagram, we will also highlight that this is the mouth. That's where ingestion takes place. This is the stomach. That's where digestion takes place. This e, these are the small intestine. That's where absorption takes place. This is the anus. That's where digestion takes place. So make sure that you master them. Okay, good people. Let's hold it here. All of these slides are adapted or they are taken from the Sunrise Study Guide, which was compiled by me and my colleagues. You, you can get it by contacting me in this number 076-706-3523. Thank you, good people. Let's meet in the next lesson.